How to use PageFly on Shopify 2023 tutorial for beginners. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be discussing in great detail and depth on how you can use PageFly on your Shopify in the easiest, most simplest way possible. Now, to basically walk ourselves through this and to get a general idea and gist of this, what we are going to be wanting to do is uh, we're going to want to, you know, come to Shopify and uh, log in with our account. If you don't have an account, you can create one really simply, really easily. It's a very simple account to walk yourself through. So, yeah, create an account. And once you have an account, just go ahead and log in with it. Pretty simple. Now, once you have logged in with your account, what's going to happen from there? is you're going to come over to the Shopify dashboard that is present on your um, basic Shopify. Now, once you are over here into your Shopify, what you're going to do is uh, basically we're going to see how we're going to integrate PageFly into this. OK, and uh, to integrate PageFly into your actual design, what's going to happen is you are going to use the app section or the app market. Now, to obviously get right into it, what you're going to do is uh, come to add apps over here. And once you come to add apps, basically, you're going to go ahead into your Shopify app store. And once you come over to your Shopify app store, obviously, you're going to integrate your Shopify with your PageFly. So what you're going to do is you're going to come here and write PageFly. And once you write PageFly, you're going to open PageFly up. And once you open PageFly up here, it's going to give you PageFly landing page builder. OK, so we're just going to click on it. And once you click on PageFly landing page builder here, it's going to, you know, obviously we're going to use it to make a uh, you could say landing page or, you know, basic lead generation for your Shopify. So I'm going to click open it. We're going to click on install and it's basically going to take us to the PageFly interface with all the necessary details that PageFly actually has to offer us. OK, and uh, in PageFly, obviously, you're going to have uh, different things to get your head around. Uh, it's going to ask you to install the app. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing. And once you go into the install app section from there on out, what we are going to be doing is we're going to come over to this page. So it says dashboard, you know, start now and all these things. So uh, there's a lot of themes that are going to be disabled. So it says PageFly is disabled. UI optimization is disabled. So do make sure to enable these things because uh, without them, PageFly doesn't really work really well. So enable all these uh, things which are necessary. And once you've enabled all the necessary things, wait, let me just go ahead and come here. And once you're here, you're going to enable this. Once you've enabled it, click on save. And yeah. You're going to come back here and here it says start now and all these things to, you know, create a proper dashboard. But I'm just going to go ahead and click on create your first page. Now, a first page could be anything. It could be regular home product collection, blog post, password page, you know, basically going with any page that uh, works best for you. Now, PageFly is on different plans. OK, I'm on the currently free plan right now, which is zero dollars, obviously. But uh, you can go with an upper plan as well, which is ninety nine dollars or, you know, basically essentially hundred dollars per month. Uh, I'm going to stay on the free one because the free one, you know, provides me enough uh, features to work with. So once you're on this, you're going to go ahead and click on create your first page or you're going to just go on create from template. OK, create your first page is just based off of, you know, scratch create from templates is based off of, uh, you know, actual templates to work with. So. I'm going to go with my obviously regular landing page. So once you go on regular page, it's going to give me different templates that I can add for my landing page or, you know, just essentially not even landing page. You can use or create any page using PageFly. You know, it's not only just for your landing pages. So once you're over here, uh, just go with uh, a good design that you, you know, fancy or you like. So in my case, I'm going to go with let's go with a Black Friday sale. OK. Or you know what this let's go with this that looks really nice so once you've gone with that what's going to happen from there is that the whole page fly thing is going to load in and here you can see we have loaded in with the different products that are in the market recently here you can see black friday special offer on selected products so you can see the phones you can see the laptops the uh iwatch you get the whole thing and they also give you a custom timer 
Now, these type of things, you can't get these on, uh, you know, basically your Shopify templates or you can't easily add these into your Shopify. That's the fun thing about PageFly is that using Shopify's amazing, uh, you know, store settings and store features and using PageFly's amazing templates and, uh, you know, store development features, you can actually excel really high on the, you know, actually building website building chain on Shopify. So it's really easy and simple stuff to get your head around this. And trust me, once you start working with these things, it's a piece of cake. So to edit this, obviously it's a basic drag and drop builder or an editor that you can work with. And if you have experience working with the previous website editors, like, you know, Wix, Squarespace, and all these, uh, you know, really famous editors, then using Shopify or using PageFly essentially isn't going to be an issue with you. Like again, on the left hand side, you get all your elements and you can add different things. Like, let's say I want to add some extra things. You know, this is a two base uh, image creator. You can add PNGs. Uh, I can add my very own PNG if I want to. So let's say in this PNG tab, uh, I'm going to open up the images, uh, image source. I'm going to select an image of my own, upload from my own computer. We're going to click on upload from computer. And there you go. I'm going to add my very own image. And that image is obviously going to come up here. And then you can obviously edit the text, the different stylings, the different colorings, and a whole lot more. So once the media uploading is complete, you're just going to go ahead and uh, select the media file that you have. Okay. And obviously that media file is going to appear here. Then you can add different texts for that media file, uh, enable full width for yourself, and a whole lot more. You can also change your CTA in this case. And once you have your whole store done, you're going to click on save. Uh, just call it something random. Okay. Or just give it a good name, you know, for a Shopify page with, uh, you know, page fly, you can call it something like that. And uh, once you've named your page, it's going to say page save successfully. And you're going to go ahead, you're going to finally publish it. And once you publish it, it's going to go with page title, page URL, finally click on publish. And there you go. So they're giving you one free slot to publish your page and you're going to just click on publish. And there you go. Then this page is going to be published directly with your Shopify link. And uh, basically all the users that are going to visit your Shopify page are going to be able to see this page that you've edited using PageFly. And here you go. Page published successfully. Now you can close this. And once we close all of this, I'm going to come to my Shopify. I'm going to click on online store. We're going to load things up. And once you load things up, obviously, you can view your actual store. And uh, once you view your actual store, we're going to come into my apps over here. And here it says installed app page fly builders. And then you can edit your store or the page that you've created from here. So yeah, that's basically about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching this page fly tutorial, drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see all of you next time in the next video. So thank you for watching till the end. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.